In this video, we'll be learning how to download and configure JSGME for mod management. JSGME stands for Jonesoft Generic Mod Enabler and is a very, very simple interface allowing you to manage all of the mods either required or optional for DCS World within the 476. Before we get started, I'll quickly show you a demonstration of my implementation. Quite simply, I can see my available mods on the left-hand side and the mods that are actually activated for DCS at the moment. The interface allows me to quickly disable all activated mods, to activate selective mods, or all mods. So let's take a look at how to get JSGME configured. First, you'll want to download it from our downloads page, which will always be referenced from the software list. We can grab it from here. Once we've downloaded it and, and extracted it, we'll see that we have a JSGME folder. You'll want to stick this somewhere. This program doesn't actually install. You simply download it and place it where you want it and then get it configured. I like to place my JSGME folder inside of the default Eagle Dynamics installation directory. Now, although you'll note that I have three separate DCS installations, one for the default 1.5 version, one for the open alpha and one for the open beta, I only need one version of JSGME to manage all three, even if I'm using separate mods for each of them. So as I currently already have JSGME set up for both 1.5, the default, as well as 2.0, what we're gonna do in this demo is set it up for the open beta. This process is exactly the same whether you're doing it for the default and you only have one install or whether you're doing it for the open alpha or the open beta. Quite simply, the first thing we wanna do after we've moved JSGME to our desired location is go into the directory and create a shortcut. Right click, create shortcut. I like to name my shortcut for the versions that this JSGME installation will refer to. So since we're gonna do it for the open beta, let's call it DCS 1.5 open beta. The next thing we wanna do is reference where the mods folder will live for this version. So quite simply, all we need to do is get the path for the particular DCS installation we're installing it for. In this case, I'm gonna do it for the, D, for the open beta, so I'm just gonna copy this path out. If I were doing it for the open alpha or for the default, I'd copy that path out. So now that I've got the path for the open beta, which is the version I'm doing, I'm going to right click the shortcut, go back into properties, and I'm going to change the start in location to be that. This is how this version of JSGME will point and work for the open beta. I'm also going to move my open beta icon to whatever location I want it in. So now I have three. The first time I launch, I'll get a message asking me where the mods will actually be. For DCS, you cannot use uh, the directory called mods because DCS installs all of its modules, the modules you've bought, so for example, the A10 or the Huey, into a directory called mods. So we need to rename this something else. The most common practice is to simply put an underscore in front of it, but you can rename this directory to something else. I'm gonna go ahead and go with convention and just put an underscore in front. And you'll notice that my GSGME is configured, but it's actually empty. So let's go and take a look inside of the open beta directory and see what's going on there. So what you'll see is that it's actually created this folder underscore mods. Again, the reason we put the underscore is to deconflict from the actual mods directory where our DCS mo modules actually live. And by the way, this is not case sensitive. So the fact that it's capitalized is just for visibility purposes. So I go in and there's just a couple of default directories in there. So how do I install a mod? The first thing we'd wanna do is download a mod from the 476 website. 
all of the required mods will be listed in the software list. Here are a number of mods, both required and optional. So as I've already downloaded one, let's take a look at how to install it. So here what we're going to do is we're going to take the IFC AAS training mod that I've downloaded and we're going to copy it into our open beta mods directory. So just going to browse up into open beta underscore mods and I'm just going to paste that mod. When I do that, what you'll notice in JSGME is automatically it becomes available as a mod to enable. And now that mod is enabled in my open beta. If this were the open alpha or the default installation, it would work exactly the same. Let's go ahead and deactivate it. One note about the mods directory. So where I created this, the only thing you need to note is that the very next directory needs to be whatever location that the mod is modifying. Sometimes folks make the mistake of they'll have the mod called FCAES training and then there'll be another directory inside with the same name and then it'll go into whatever directory is being modified. In this case, you have the name of your mod and then immediately the directory that's being modified must be next. The good news is that for virtually all of the 476 mods, they are configured this way. So as you download them, you will simply copy them into your underscore mods directory for the particular installation you're modifying. And you'll notice that in JSGME, everything is available. Now, when a NOTAM is released by a 476 command that tells you to update DCS, you will simply deactivate all your mods using the double arrow. You'll update DCS, and then you will choose all of your mods and simply reactivate them. That allows you to very simply and elegantly manage your DCS mods. For any questions about this, please ask on the forum or ask a knowledgeable member on TeamSpeak.